How's everyone doing? Welcome back to Moist Woodshop. Fair warning, this is not a build video. This is mainly a review and we're just going to talk about this lathe that I built on my last video. Uh, first thing I want to mention is this thing's working great. I've made about 10 pens so far and uh, it's just working out just like I want it to. So there are a couple of things that I want to change on this. Uh, I kind of rushed through at the end and just kind of didn't do what I wanted to do. Uh, so I do have plans on going back and finishing it up. So uh, as of right now, when I did reach about six pens, I started to get some vibration issues. So I fixed that problem. Uh, I do have a small video clip of the process that I took to fix it. So if you do want to make one of these, uh, stick around. If this isn't your kind of video, about me just talking about something I totally understand so stick around and I'll show you what I did and I switched out the bolts and also there were some questions about um, cutting threads and I'll just show you my process how I do it and then we'll come back and talk a little bit more about the mandrel and uh, I'll share the reason why I built this lathe it'll be a challenge announcement type of thing so stick around guys. After noticing some vibration on the lathe, I removed the bolts and I noticed there was an uneven wear in the area where the bolt would touch the bearings. So I decided to replace it with a different type of bolt. This time it would be a smooth bolt and then I would just cut the threads up, up to that point. This way the bolt would write on the bearings and it would just be the, the smooth surface of the bolt instead of the threads. As far as my process of cutting threads on the bolt is if you notice I, there was a slight chamfer on the top and at this point you just want to take your time downward pressure and steady clockwise motion. If, if you notice that you're going at it's not perfectly level then back off and do it again. I usually go about one or two full turns and then I back off and make sure you break off those threads. And then you keep going. You, you thread it back on and just keep going until the mark that you made. And this is what I ended up with. A bolt that would have a smooth shaft for the bearings to run on. And I still have my threads exactly where I need them. Using a file and I put the drill on there and just got to the point where I could cut the quarter inch threads. As far as uh, placing the mandrel on the lathe, it's just a couple of nuts and what makes it possible is this coupling nut. That's going to allow the mandrel to be threaded onto the lathe itself. Then you just tighten everything up. What you're doing here is you're jamming the nuts into each other so that way they won't be they won't have a chance to back off. You slide the bushing one of the pen tubes another bushing now with with this assembly I have extra bushings just to make sure that I get to the point where I see the threads and that way I could tighten everything down together replace that last coupling nut and then you're able to tighten everything down So yeah, as a, as a fix, I couldn't be happier with it. Uh, the vibration went away and it's back to making pens. Uh, let's go back to the mandrel. As far as the, the steel rod, I purchased this one at a big box store. This is a 516 steel rod. You would just cut a chunk off of it, chuck it into your drill, 
and using a belt sander or a file, whatever you want to use, just take it down, take the thickness down, make sure it's even all the way across, and then get yourself a, a pen bushing. This is a seven millimeter uh, slimline bushing. All you're worried about is making this bushing slide across the entire mandrel freely, but not too much of a gap. That's that's the key right there. So what I did is once I got one end fairly close, I slid in the bushing and then using a piece of 220 uh, grit sandpaper, uh, keeping it ch chucked into the drill, I just kept grinding down material until I could get the bushing all the way across the mandrel. That's it. That, that was, and then just cut the threads on each end. And that's how I ended up with this here. Well, as far as the reason why I built this thing, uh, my buddy James Green at, over at Stress Free Woodworks, uh, he's having a pen challenge and the pen challenge is going on right now. And I think it's a great thing that, that he's doing. The challenge is you make a pen, doesn't matter how you make it. He doesn't care if you use a lathe, you use a carving knife. As long as it's a pen, I mean, you could use a sander and get yourself a pen made. Um, he doesn't care how you do it, as long as you get it done and you make a video. And he's gonna, and then you have to ship the pen over to him. He's gonna take those pens and give it to our service men and women that are overseas or, or deployed and fighting for us. So it's just a, a real cool way of, of letting them know that, hey, we appreciate what you're doing. We're thinking about you. And here's this pen that I made for you. So I was in from day one. Uh, and that's why I built this thing. So if you're interested in doing that and, and joining the pen challenge, which I recommend you do, is uh, I'll, let you, uh, I'll leave a link in the description of this video to his website and his video announcing the pen challenge itself. So uh, you're interested, definitely go check it out. And while you're there, you might as well give him a subscribe. Another thing I wanted to mention is this awesome sign behind me. My buddy Tommy G made it. So really happy with it. Tommy, thank you. And uh, that's about all I have, guys. Oh, uh, as far as plans, I don't have plans for this. I'm still learning SketchUp and Eventually, I plan on having plans, so uh, yeah, that's, that's about all I have, so uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one, guys.